And meteorologist Hannah Messier joins us now with a look at where this hurricane is and the impact it's having. Now, you used to live in that area, so you really know the impact of this wall of water. Right, and something interesting about Idalia was this was the first major hurricane to enter Appalachee Bay. So this was a historical storm for northern Florida in the Big Bend area. This is a view of where that storm is on satellite, still covering a wide area of the southeastern United States. We can see on our estimated rainfall that quite a bit of rain fell just north of Valdosta, over four inches just south of Valdosta, 7.8 inches. Further to the south by Tallahassee, about 2.5. So that heaviest area of rain does appear to be to the west of where that center of the storm was. So here's what the storm reports have across the whole area that Edalia impacted. Further to the south, this is where uh, around the area that Edalia actually made landfall. In Steenhatchee, they were watching for storm surge, and they did see some storm surge in the Steenhatchee Hatchie area. This is a hydrograph, one way to monitor river flooding, the Steenhatchee River right on the coast. So that's why you see all those waves in this portion of the hydrograph was because of the tide times. Then you see this really big jump uh, up to the flood stage, up to eight feet. That is the actual impacts from the storm surge. So in that short period of time, you went from uh, around one foot up to eight feet. So quite the storm surge was seen from Idalia. Right now, Idalia has weakened into a tropical storm as of 4 p.m., and it's going to continue to stay a tropical storm in the forecast for Idalia. We can see Idalia still now moving out of Georgia into the Carolinas, and it's going to continue to move to the northeast and then east re-entering the Atlantic. So Idalia really was quite the historic storm for northern Florida, and we'll have to watch the storm as it moves along the Carolina coasts.